لا يجوز لا أخذ أخذ منها ولا حرقها المطلوب إعفاؤها أعفوا اللحى أكرموا اللحى وفروا وفروا اللحى هذا ما هو بتوفير هذا إهانة لها نعم ولا عجيب إن إن الشيطان يغري بني آدم هاللحية هذه أشد شيء عليهم اللحية مع أن جمال لهم مع أن يعني سنة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم ما أنها فارقة بين النساء والرجال لكن الشيطان يغريه كما أغرى النساء بإزالة الحواجب أو قصها العبث بها لأن الرسول نهى عن ذلك فالشيطان يريد المعصية يريد منهم المعصية للرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم وإلا هذه كلها من جمالهم ومن زينتهم نعم. بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد علامة بن فوزان حفظ الله تعالى was asked what is the ruling regarding uh, cutting the beard or uh, what is the ruling regarding shaving it علامة بن فوزان حفظ الله تعالى responded by saying both of them are haram it is not permissible to take from them to, to cut it nor to shave it, nor to shave them. And what is meant, what is required, is to grow them, is to grow the beard. Uh, grow the beard. Respect the beard. Save or protect your, your beard. This is... Uh, is not from saving or protecting the beard, but rather this is belittling it. And what's strange is that the shaitan plays, uh, the shaitan lures the people, lures uh, the children of Adam regarding the beard. And this is the most difficult thing for them, upon them, is, to, is their beard. While it is also something is that's very beautiful, handsome for them, and also it is the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and also it distinguishes uh, men from women. However, the shaitan uh, plays with them. Or, or the shaitan lures them and deceives them. Similar to the way he uh, tempts the women to remove uh, their uh, eyebrows or to shorten them. Uh, playing with them. And, and, and this is, and because the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prohibited all of that. And the shaitan wants from them to be obedient to the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And all of that is from the beautification for them and their beauty. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.